controversy has been trailing the substitution of names of APC Senate and House of Representatives candidates in a Kwai bomb state by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, after he failed to recognize the candidates sent in by the Old Progressive Congress, led by the legally recognized state chairman, Stephen Ntukepo, saying that it did not monitor primaries conducted with invalid delegates list. In the INEC list cited by Arise News, the electoral body recognized Dr. Ndem Udodo Ndem as the senatorial candidate for a Kwai bomb novice. Udum Udo Udum as a senatorial candidate for a Kwai Bomb Northwest, and no name was submitted for a Kwai Bomb South. But in the list submitted by the Ntukebo led state APC to INEC, the party had submitted Upong Emayak Nkanga as a Kwai Bomb Northeast senatorial candidate, no name for a Kwai Bomb Northwest senatorial district, and Udo Inyang Martins Dennis as a senatorial candidate for a Kwai Bomb South is the same with the House of Representatives list too. Well, the former APC factional chairman in Akwai Bomb State, Austin Ekanem, who until March was the state chairman, had conducted ward and local government congresses monitored by INEC. It is only the delegates list from this exercise that INEC adopted for the monitoring of State Assembly House of Representatives and senatorial primaries which produced the candidates that it has now adopted. The electoral body says upon his emergence from a court judgment, Stephen Ntukepo should have used the word and local government delegates list he inherited to use and conduct primaries with it rather than conducting his own congresses or using a separate delegates list not validly recognized by INEC. As such, the name submitted to INEC from primaries conducted using the new delegates list not monitored by the electoral body now stands rejected. Twists and turns, uh, you would have heard in that uh, reading of that particular news. Well, joining us to understand the controversy surrounding the Akwai Bomb Senatorial and House of Representatives list as adopted by INEC is our Rise Director of News and Politics Editor, Samna Shagari Sambo. Samna, glad to have you join me. Thank you so much indeed. Now, now my question, what was playing out in my heart was fine. And Tukepo went to court because the issue was the who is the who is the real chairman? Yeah, the okay. state's chairman. chairman. Okay, he went to court, he got a judgment that he is now the chairman. Okay, if he's the chairman, even though he didn't use the list that what he was supposed to use, what is the position of Atike Kanem? Austin Ekanem. Yeah. The former state chairman. Good. He was the former. Ntukepo won the election as chairman. So why is INEC accepting his, even though he is the delegate, him not being the chairman that was recognized by the court? Now, this is it, uh, uh, Andy. The world and uh, local government congresses had been conducted, and delegates um, uh, were arrived at by that process. Now, INEC and the political parties, as I then, did not have problems with the ward and local government congresses, with the delegates that emerged. Now, the controversy was at the stage of who is the state chairman of APC. And of course, uh, Stephen Ntukepo went to court, and he had a court judgment. And eventually, Senator Abdullah Adamo, who is the national chairman of APC, uh, swore him in as the legal national chairman, of course, Austin Ekanem had to be set aside. Yeah. Now, uh, when Stephen Tukekwo came in as the new state chairman, instead of working with the local government and war delegates list that was already there without controversy, he decided that it was time for him to have its own delegates list separate. Now, because there was no controversy as that, and elections were held Congresses were held, actually, where those ward and local government delegates were elected. were elected. There was no need for him to have used any, or to, for him to have brought a fresh list into the delegates list. So it, it was based on this assumption that INEC had recognized the wards and delegates uh, and local government delegates list, that they will use the same wards and delegate list in electing 
the governorship candidate, senatorial candidate, House of Rep candidate, and state houses of assembly candidate. But when this new state chairman came, he came with his own decision to actually have a separate delegate list. And because INEC said he didn't monitor where his own delegate list were brought from, there is no how he can monitor primaries that were being conducted using that delegate list. And so you can see to it that he conducted his own primaries separately. Or and primaries. INEC did not go to monitor his own primaries. Yeah. So the other gentleman, uh, Austin Ekanem, his own group, although he's not recognized as the state chairman, That's my but point. the delegates, the delegates at the ward level and the local government level emerged through a legal process and they're acceptable. So INEC is saying that it's only those senatorial House of Rep candidates and State Houses of Assembly candidates that are elected by those non-controversial delegates yeah. that it will recognize. Yeah. And that's what we've seen here Yeah, today. but my point, quite, quite all right, well explained. My point is this. Who oversaw the elections of this uh, accepted delegates list? Ekanem. Yes, yes. Ekanem is not the chairman. Yes, it's not so, the chairman as at now, but they have, I mean, we've seen this similar thing happening in the PDP, I mean, during the Anambra uh, 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 PDP primaries where we had those situations. As long as the process that uh, led to the emergence of the war delegates is non-controversial, mm. if it is settled, they are elected war delegates, war executives, and they have a secure term. The local government delegates too, uh, the uh, executives, and ad hoc delegates, when they emerge, once it's not controversial, it is settled. So the only problem was the state chairman. Yeah. So why is a new state chairman? It's just like a new president coming to say he doesn't want to work with elected members of National Assembly in both the Senate and House of Reps. So he wants to have his own state, uh, he wants to have his own senators and his own House of Representative members, even when those ones were validly elected. That can't happen. Okay, okay, fine. But what can't happen? Why, why does this leave a canon? That's the point. I yeah, mean. I mean, he's not a factor in this case. Okay, he's not a factor. He's not a factor because by law, INEC doesn't recognize him as state chairman. But the legally accepted delegates, delegates were who, used. Yes, were, who, who emerged from the World Congresses. And then the local government congresses are the one who, by default, are to elect the governorship candidates, to elect the senatorial candidates, House of Representative candidates, and then the state assembly candidate. You can't come and bring your own separate delegates list because you're only coming to inherit this process. Because just the way the national chairman was elected, yeah. that's the same way the uh, uh, local government executives Congresses yeah, I mean, were elected. Yeah, they so were you elected. can't throw them away. Yeah, you can't throw uh, In fact, I've made it so easy that the question of a canon not being the recognized chairman is not a factor. Yes, and I that's why that's INEC has made it very, very clear in this instance by saying that, look, even as at now, there's no governorship candidate in, the, in a quiet bomb state okay. because of the controversies that arose and the, okay. the fact that a lot of court cases are ongoing at the moment and then there was supposed to be a governorship primary. Mm. Everyone was gathered there and all of a sudden, uh, they were told that it wasn't going to hold again. All of a sudden, at night, I mean, around 12 a.m., yeah. we got to learn we'll that, you know, uh, we'll also Tukekpo, I mean, sorry, Tukekpo actually went and organized a separate primary election. Yeah. But because it wasn't monitored by INEC, That's and the a, delegates list there wasn't recognized by it, as it stands right now, it's so unfortunate that the, the people of uh, Kwaibom State, especially the members there, Thank you so much. won't have an opportunity Thank to have a so candidate. Thank you so much, uh, Somna, there.